All right, guys, gonna do a troubleshooting video for you here today. Um, this is a skid that's completed and it's going out uh, as soon as he can come and pick it up. And we were going to give him a little bit of our surfactant. Now, we've been working on this stuff for a while and we finally got uh, some samples in. Now, this, we've got several of them. We got two or three jugs in here of different ones. And this particular one has a marking dye in it, similar to some of the other products out there. You can see how dark blue that is, the, uh, the liquid levels right there. Go over here and look at the surfactant tank. So we were using this skid to play around with and see if we liked that surfactant. Um, so we dumped some in the surfactant tank and you can see it's very blue, okay? So we can get it any color we want to, but we fired it up mostly just because it's oriented to shoot right out the door so we didn't have to use our work truck and back it out. Just there's a skid right here we can use. So we fired it up and you'll see the surfactant line here, bright blue, which is to be expected because it's pulling that liquid through here and sending it out. The hose reel here, this hose turned bright blue, the discharge going to the pump, all that's normal. We went outside and we were spraying and everything looks good. We're like, hey, this is neat, it's blue. It's like we wanted it to be walked back in and we noticed that this line, which is gonna be his bleach tank line, was also bright blue. That's not good, we don't want that. Come around here to the other side. This is what it should look like. This line is blue because it's going to the pump, discharging to the hose reel. Uh, and the surfactant line, we've got surfactant in there so we can tell, but what happened on the other side is we noticed that the line going to the bleach tank turned bright blue, which means only one thing, the check valve here has failed. So let's go back around to that other side. Now, we pop the, the hose off here, and that's one reason we like to run these skids as much as we can while we have them, just to make sure there's nothing wrong with them. But it's an easy troubleshoot and it's an easy fix took the hose off, just popped it off, heated up with the heat gun. And what we're gonna do is take this check valve apart right here and let you see, I'm 100% certain there's gonna be something uh, debris inside this check valve. Now, when we drill the holes for the bulkheads, sometimes those tiny little pieces of plastic get down the bottom. We take the shop vac and we vacuum them out. You miss a little tiny piece and it doesn't take much. So if that happens, or let's say you uh, leave your lid off and some leaves or something falls in there, you can get debris, which can get sucked into the check valve and cause it not to seal up, which is what was happening, I'm pretty sure. So what we'll do is we'll take this check valve apart, put a wrench right there, wrench right there, spin it. They come apart real easy. They separate right here. They're joined, okay? So we're gonna take it apart. Now be careful when you do this, <clears throat> as you'll see. All right, and there's our culprit. Right inside there, we've got a little tiny piece of plastic. Okay. Blow that out. Make sure everything's good. The plunger looks good. We can take that out as well and look down in there. All right, so the way this works is when you're running the, uh, the plunger with the seal, it it pulls it down and allows flow. When you let off, the spring pops it back up and seals it back off. So that little piece of plastic that was in there was just causing it to not seal up, which is definitely going to be a problem. So let's reassemble, have to do it carefully, and we'll let y'all see if we fix it or not. Me. <clears throat> Helps to heat these hoses up just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna have to put a little bit of water back here in this rear tank. So bear with me just a second. All right, now we'll fire it back up. 
got all three lines open, 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 and cut our pump on. So what should happen is this one and this one should remain clear. It's pulling, sending it out, looks good. Come out here and we'll let you see what it looks like. Not a, we'll let it run just a minute or so and we'll get back to the mix. You'll be able to tell when it gets there. Here, pushing the air out. There we go. All right. Pretty cool, yep. All right, so. Our surfactant is almost ready for y'all that want to buy it. And it will have a marking agent in it. And we're good. Clear and clear. So that means all it was was that little bitty C. It's going to be one of these on the ground here, these little shards of plastic on the floor. So it doesn't take much at all, just something real tiny. So guys, if you have that happening or if you notice your water level and your tank going up throughout the day uh, and it's not supposed to be that's what's going on is your check valve has failed and it's probably not broken it's probably just a little piece of debris so uh, always remember to keep your lids on and clean your tanks out and you should be good to go hope that helps